am so excited to have Hannah Solo be my guest on my vlog this day. Hannah Solo is an improviser in New York City. It turns out I want a musical improv team. We're called Fancy Mantelpiece and we perform all over the city and it's so much fun and I get so excited just thinking about it. I love to talk to people who are really passionate about what they do and Hannah is obviously really passionate about improv and I have personally seen so many correlations between improv and real life and the risk that you take in improv you can like bring over into actual real life living and I wanted to have Hannah's take on that and see if there's any less life lessons that she's learned from improv. I'd say one of the main lessons that I've learned recently uh, was a note that one of my teachers gave me. You can't be a bystander in your scene. He said, you are super funny, but 50% of the time there's a chance that your scenes are going to be amazing and 50% of the time there is a chance that they're just not going to be great because you're letting other people be ahead of you and you have what you know what you want and what you want to do but you're standing back and you're not making those things happen um, and what a horrible way to do scenes and to live your life just sort of hoping that other people's actions will affect you in the way that you want them to stepping up and not being a bystander in your life and you want something to happen you make it happen that's one of the things that i think i constantly bring up on my blog and in conversations that I have with people is if you know that you want something to happen a certain way or you want to meet a certain goal, the only thing that you can do is take action towards it. You can't depend on someone else to take those steps for you. It's all in your hands and I think that's a huge thing to take away from it. You learn so quickly that things that seem the scariest are really not terrible at all and it, all it takes is just to go out there and maybe for one second you're gonna fail, but that's sort of the best part about improv is that you can just sort of hope that something's gonna happen and you know what, you do it and who cares what happened, it happened. And it's all about not taking yourself so seriously and just knowing that I guess who you are as a person, that's such a main part of improv is that it's you on stage and like, you're awesome. Why, why be afraid of that? Yeah, and I think from that also realizing that you have a whole clean slate in front of you. When you step out on stage for the first time, there are endless possibilities and you could become something you, you haven't thought about before. And it's the same with life. Like every new day, there are endless possibilities of who you can become and what you can do. And I think that's amazing to be able to create your own future and decide how you want to live and make it really awesome and really fun and really yeah. enjoyable and not so like serious and dull and boring. I'm just so thankful that Hannah was so willing to be on my blog and I gain a lot of inspiration from her and the work that she does. I think improvisers are amazing and fearless individuals and Hannah is all of that. So thank you so much for being on my vlog and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have a comment or feedback, please leave it below and I will see you next week. Thanks. Yay. Bye.